everyone. I am Fahri from Praditari Vendor High School and welcome to my pitch on the topic of the role of accounting in supporting SDGs. Today I'll show you how we can achieve a forgotten goal, which is the SDG number 14, life below water by harnessing the power of accounting. I know what you're thinking, accounting and oceans, really? But stick with me. By the end of the next five minutes, you'll see why blue accounting is the missing link between the balance sheets and healthy seas. Every year, 8 million tons of plastic flood our oceans. Overfishing depletes species and untracked pollutants choke marine ecosystems. While corporate sustainability reports mention carbon footprints, rarely do they quantify the economic value or damage of our blue assets, our fisheries, coral reefs, and coastal communities. So blue accounting is an innovative approach that applies accounting principles, measurement, reporting, auditing to our oceanic resources. Imagine a marine balance sheet where the assets are the fish stocks, mangroves, and coral reefs, while the liabilities are the pollution levels, plastic waste, and biodiversity loss. And moreover, the equity are the net ecological value of the sea. By putting numbers to our marine health, companies and government can make informed investment decisions and track their impact over time. So first, the quantification that we use as a dual approach of satellite imagery and on-site sampling to scientifically assign monetary values to critical ecosystem service, like the carbon captured by our vital mangrove forests. Next up, the reporting system. The quantified values are then formally presented in annual marine impact statements. These aren't just standalone documents. They are also integrated directly into corporate and national financial reports that standing shoulder to shoulder with income and cash flow statement also. Finally, verification. To uphold the highest standards of integrity, we engage independent third-party auditors. They meticulously scrutinize the data, ensuring that every reported improvement in marine health is authentic and that there is no room for blue washing. Take the small island nation of Tuvalu. By introducing the blue accounting, they discovered that their mangrove forests were worth more in carbon credits than any annual fish catch. This insight led to investment in reforestation, creating thousands of green jobs and healthier reefs that boosted tourism revenues by 15% in just one year. So SDG number 14 often fades into the background because oceans fill this stand. But oceans cover 70% of our planet and regulate climate, food security, and life foods for billions of people. Without accounting attention, the blue economy remains invisible to investors, policymakers, and even students like us. As an active student myself and a future professional in this vital field, the future of blue accounting rests in your hands. I urge you to master the fundamentals by beginning learning the basic environmental accounting techniques now. This is a crucial skill that will set you apart from other accounting. Next, let us become the advocates for change. By integrating the blue accounting principles into every school project thesis and even your internships, you can demonstrate that ocean health is an inseparable part of every business decision. And next up, the fourth powerful collaborations. Connect with marine biologists, data scientists, and local communities. So, by doing those things, our strength lies in cross-disciplinary synergy. Remember, by embedding ocean health into financial reports, we ensure every ringgit, rupiah, or dollar invested truly counts toward thriving marine ecosystems and our shared future. Let's make every number count for the ocean, guys. So, now imagine a world when quarterly reports act like not only the profits, but also the coral reef recovery, where companies compete to show the greatest improvement in fish stock health. This is the power of accounting and the revival of the SDG number 14. So thank you for watching. Let's bring our oceans onto the balance sheet and into our future. Remember what we can measure and what we can improve. Let's capture this moment and let's capture our first step towards the blue accounting starting today.